Okay guys, <clears throat> it seems technology is definitely not my friend today. <clears throat> my phone, I don't even know what happened. It's not dead, but I don't even know what happened. It just stopped recording. Anyhow, anywho, I have <clears throat> um, extended these. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't show you because it just didn't record. Um, but yeah, so all I did were, <clears throat> as I was... I think I was showing you before it went off you just make some little paper hinges and all I did then was once they got them to the right size just folded them in half ish they don't even need to be perfectly straight but obviously it helps you just fold them in half and then you glue one like the front one onto there and then this back piece onto there <coughs> then when you open it up in the middle all I did was use some of this washi tape just to stick across there Luckily, you know, there's got five lines on it, so the middle line just happens to be the middle there. And then just a single piece on there to hide those edges. So that's it, basically. But then that gives us... Uh, that extends these and makes them into pages. So, like so. So now we can actually get to putting these in. <clears throat> now I want four at the front. And I already decided I wanted those at the front. So what I'm going to do is, that's going to be the front one. And then we're going to put them in. Like that. Then I want these in. Like that. And then... Which way? Oh, no. <coughs> Wrong way, sorry. I'm going to put them in first. Okay. Like that. Then... We're going to have them in there like that. Then we're going to have that in there like that. Okay. And it's going to give us this cutesy <coughs> journal with these side pockety tab things. Now, obviously, because these, for a start off, the pages are embossed, but they're thick and fluffy now as well. So it's pushing everything this way. So these are now a little bit longer than they were at the beginning. So we can cut a little bit. Off. No, we can't. We say we can cut a little bit off those, but we can't now because we've joined them. Never mind. It's just going to be a nice puffy journal. Okay, I'm happy with that anyway. Right. So now we're going to bind it. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is the fun part. Okay, the fun part because I need to remember what I did with my binding kit. Oh, it's there. Okay. So let me just scoot across and get that. <clears throat> guys <clears throat> so we need that actually no we don't we don't need that anymore <clears throat> let's use these binder clips we don't even really need these but I'm going to use them anyway and I'm just going to use these three big ones because it's quite a puffy journal going to have a look through the threads and I'll probably use that one. Let's have a look. Not dark ones. So yes, definitely we're going to use that one because it's a lighter swell. What about that one? No, we'll go with that one. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, no, I don't need that. Right, so what I do need is my little binding cradle which is super cool got this from Artie Mays Andrea over at Artie Mays um, okay so I'm going to try and get everything as tightly packed in there as we can I'm going to clip <coughs> there and then we're going to clip there. Yep. Get it squashed in as much as we can. Actually, I don't even think we need them. Let's line everything up. Get it squashed in as much as we can. Okay. 
and we will clip now. We'll clip from this side. <coughs> And then from this side. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, so let me get my beading all. Not beading all, this is my porky tool all. I'm happy with that. Some pages I've moved up, so let's sort that because I'm not happy about that. This is the problem when you're doing this, it's all kind of trial and error. <clears throat> okay, try and get it as tightly into that groove as you can. Oops. try and get them as tightly packed into that spine bit there as you can top and bottom so push right in and then clip opposite sides works really well okay I'm happy with that now okay so now we're going to do this and of course we're going to poke through here which is what that nice little groove's for there so just somewhere around the middle now because I've got lined washi tape here um, we can roughly work out the centre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, so there's thirty. So we need to go in fifteen. So that's one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that I've just poked a tiny hole there. That's the centre. Okay. And then I'm going to come in. <clears throat> so there's fifteen there, so we're gonna come down five. Put a little hole there. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you can see this actually. And then we're going to come in five from the bottom, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, and then let's just, there we go, pop a tiny hole there. So you don't know if you can see, but you've got a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there, okay? But now I'm going to put it in the cradle and we're going to push right through all of this properly in them holes. Like so. Okay, yep, that's come through nicely at each side. Nice hole there. Yep, that's okay there. Yep, that's fine there. Okay, so let's just pop the beading all back in. No, I keep saying beading all because I usually use this one. I usually use this one, which is my tulip beading all, um, but I've completely killed it by doing journals it's no longer straight it's really bent ouch but it's really sharp um so i like using this one because although it has got a nice sharp point on it, it's not as sharp as the tulip beading all um and i'm in less danger of breaking that one okay so there we go that's that sorted let's put them back now i do have a plastic needle here which won't go through there and I don't need it to go through there anyway but in here actually that's I thought where is my metal one hmm yes I've got the plastic one but where's the metal one I thought it was in that drawer but it's clearly not so somewhere I have oh, of course it is, it's here. I'm going to say it should be around somewhere. It's here. Yep. I used to use this one, which is a darning needle, um, but this one's just as good. So what I need to do now is just make sure that that comes all the way through, which it does. That's great. So I'm just going to poke it through there. I'm going to move that over and just, yeah. Okay, so it goes through perfect. 
okay because there's nothing worse than trying to get than threading your needle and getting it in and then finding out that this bit's fatter than that and it's not coming through properly so then you have to spend ages trying to sort it all out okay so this is waxed linen thread and i'm going to go three times the length of the journal i'm going to leave a little bit poking out the top okay so that's one two three and then cut it's long enough there's more than what we need there but that's okay all right and pop that to one side thread the needle now there's loads of different ways of doing this and i hate binding this way i just absolutely hate it okay so i'm going to move that to there and I'm going to, I want this tying on the inside, so we're going to start from the inside and come out. We're going to leave a tail, so I'm just going to hold that with my thumb. Okay, I'm going to move that down to the bottom. So now we've come out this side, we're going to come in here, and if you're lucky, you can get it all in one go, which a lot of the time I'm not. Now we can move that and come down to the bottom and go through there. Okay, now we're secure. You need to keep this one here and then you're coming back in through the middle but you need to avoid this thread. So just slightly move that there and pull that out the way and come back in. Got you. Without splitting the thread. Yes. <laughs> wow, I got it. Okay, and we're done. And then you want your threads on either side of that middle piece there. Now, I hate binding because I can never get it done properly the first time, but that went so well. That was unbelievable, especially on camera. Um, right, so now you can adjust a little bit, obviously, because there's more of that than that. So that's a bit better. There we go. Practically even now. Okay, so you just pull... Um, that's relatively strong against there to tighten up you pull away from each other so like that and then yeah like I said you don't want any you want a little bit of give in this but you don't want it really loose okay so once it's like that and that's tight enough then you can then double knot it so that way right over left and then I spin it so I'm going right over left and left over right but I can't do it that way so I spin it and then go that way again it's still right over left and left over right but because I spin it it looks like I'm doing right over left both times but like I said I'm not okay now you can leave them if you want and you can add some sort of a dangle to it but or like this you can tie it in a bow and leave it but I don't do that I just usually tie two or three knots like so and then I just cut it off and then I pop these threads in a tub that I've got loads of different cut off threads on in you can use for all sorts of other things okay put the needle back in there before I lose it beading all in oh, nope not beading all I'm at it again okay and then you can manipulate the journal and let me there we go I'll scoot you in a little bit okay so and there we have it a nice thick chunky little journal with nice tabs on the edge excuse me okay so we've got this beautiful front page here I've just thought of something I'm such an idiot. I literally am such an idiot. This is supposed to be the front page. Them are supposed to go inside. Ugh. Honestly. Ugh. Okay, we'll remedy. We'll remedy it. Alright, so split the threads, unfortunately. Kind of a waste of thread, but like I said, I'll use that for something else. Alright, so I 
thought there was something missing. Right, now luckily we've already got all the holes and everything in place, so all we need to do is just position that where we really want it to be and get everything else in place. So kind of centralise these and then, as I said, we've already done the hard work really, so we just poke through there, poke through there and then poke through there and then we just rebind it. So... <laughs> Honestly, I thought it didn't look right. Alright, so again, three times the length. So one, two, three, a little bit of overhang. Okay. There we go. Let's just clip these back up a minute just use that one anyway um right so in through the middle hold that thread okay in through there that's it and we can take that out then down through the bottom yeah and then back up through the middle but move these thread this thread and this one out of the way make sure you don't split the thread coming back through which I just did so move that's it move that one. Oh, I don't know if you saw that sorry I forgot I'm really I'm zoomed in really close I don't know if you saw that I don't know if you saw any of that actually but anyway there we go back on track now let me zoom you back out a minute Sorry guys, all right, so we need this one, so let's, there we go, they're roughly the same now, so pull away from each other, see now there's quite a bit of give on that one, so we need to pull that a bit tighter, okay, that's better, that's better, yep. All right, so I'll pull away from each other. Okay, so left over right. Okay, so now you do right over left, but I'm going to turn it and do it. All right, so <clears throat> it is right, it just doesn't look it. I've had a few people comment saying you're doing it wrong, but I'm not. It's just the way I tie them, it's just because I flip whilst I'm tying it and it always looks like I'm going in the same direction but I'm not and oh my gosh yes thank god for that <laughs> I just had visions of putting that in upside down but it didn't matter I didn't <laughs> okay so now we can go back to fluffing up the journal right wow so just with the bone folder just roll along the spine helps flatten it a little bit you can put a closure on which we haven't done let's do that um yeah let's do that okay so i think this would look really nice with these eyelets in like a nice goldy color oh yes absolutely okay so we need the crocodile where is that that's in here all right so let's get that out okay and for this i will kind of look for the center we might as well so here we are four Oh, that's not too bad so we're like four ish inch so let's find two and let's pop a mark there the same on the back four ish okay so two there pop a mark there all right i'm going to use the big one which is three sixteen of an inch so we're going to line that dot up there in the middle and punch, 
same on the back making sure we haven't got any of the other pages in okay like so right now it's already set up for them the eyelets so that's good okay so let's pop the eyelet in and squish it and squish okay and eyelet in and squish fabulous love it all right <clears throat> pop that there just pop the crocodile up there now let me see what have i got in way of lace and things that we could use to tie it together let's have a look in the scrap pack um there's all sorts in here there might be something in here that we can use I love this this as i call it my scrap pack um i got this from my friend um Anne who sent it to me and it's all well that one's coming apart but it's literally all just scraps um but this some of this i got from my friend sue but the majority of the stuff in here is just literally scraps of lace and material and all sorts of different things that like i said i got from my friend Anne, and it's awesome oh i love that that's elasticated is that i've used that before actually to do a binding in a journal um I was doing a um, traveller's notebook theme journal and I used it to do this to do the binding. These are all like um, like the little ribbons that you get on clothing and things like that where she's just chopped them all off and oh no I like that black one. Yeah she's just chopped them all off and thrown them in a bag and then she's like do you think they'll be of any use to you? Of course they will! So yeah, I ended up with them and there's all sorts of different things in here like bits of elastic and stuff with lolly sticks. Um, there are like some proper laces and things in here, but yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. So it's a really good thing to do is to cut all these off. Right, that one's longer, so we'll use that. Um, yeah, to cut all these bits off your um, clothing and things to keep you know like women's t-shirts come and they have these on them it's like to help with the coat hangers i always cut them off and throw them away and then when she sent me this bag and it was full of all this i was like oh my god when i asked her i'm like oh my gosh i never even thought of doing that so yeah now i do <laughs> nice silver one there there's all sorts in here that's gorgeous i love that um but yeah i just call this my scrap pack <laughs> um yeah, a little ball that come off a gift that she got. It's just awesome. So, yeah, like I said, I call this my scrap pack and every now and then I add to it. These are all laces and trims that I got from my friend Sue. These were new. Um, I got them off a website. Um, these were all new and I've used quite a considerable amount of these. I do like these. This is um, proper cording, like bracelet cording, and actually that, Oh, wow. Not that is a perfect match. So, we'll have that. Um, but yeah, so, as I said, I've used a considerable amount of all that to make um, lace ruffles and things with. But yeah, this pack comes in really useful. So, a bit of food, a bit of food for thought for you guys there, you know. Um, now I do really like the black but this just ties, this is just like, it's like it were made to go on this. It's beautiful. So we're going to, let's see how to do this. Round, now which way we're going to do it. Let's loop it through for a start and see which way does it loop. Not that way, the other way. I like that bumpy bit on top. <coughs> so. I need to loop it through from outside to in. That way. Like that. 
and I want more of this so Honestly, it's not my day today for things like this. What am I doing wrong? Right, inside, outside to in. Okay, that way. That's better. See, I like that bit on the outside or top or whatever. I like that bit there. Right, so we don't need all of that. We only really need about that much. So that's not going to be enough, but actually I can take this out now and measure it to make sure I'm not cutting too much off this next piece. So there we go. I've still got a decent amount left. Nice one. So I'll fold it over in the middle, make the ends touch outside to the inside, and then loop it through. That gives you the little bump. There we go. On this side, which I really like. <clears throat> okay. Straighten this out. And then outside to inside loop it through and again yes you get the bump there cool love it yeah and then I think we'll just tie a knot in the end of here if it cooperates which it doesn't look like it's going to do. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Bring it down to the end. Oh! Oh no! It snapped. Uh-oh. Alright, well we won't use that then. Okay. So that didn't turn out to be as strong as I thought it would. What a shame! Yeah, it's um, unfortunately it's snapping, so that's not good. All right, back to this it is then. So let's just fold that in half and cut, and we'll do the same with this. No, in outside to in, loop over. Let's go back to the black. Get the end tails right first. Loop it through. There we go. Okay. Wow, what a video, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Been quite a few mishaps in this one today. And technical issues. So... Right, I'm not going to faff with that on camera. I'm just going to leave it. And then we will just tie it okay so anyway let's give a flip through now of this all right so there we go so we've got the beautiful front bit and then we've got this and then we've got some nice textured paper there embossed and there there and there and then we've got that one oh sorry okay nice embossed love these embossed ones and that one then we've got the middle and then we've got the other side of the embossed papers so like the debossed side these 3d ones are awesome okay this is so cool and then we've got the back okay and then you just tie it okay so then you just tie it up basically but I'm not going to do that 
Um, oh well, I... these aren't long enough actually. Don't think. Well, no, they're not long enough. I need long ones. Um, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so there you go. That's what you'd do. So we've gone from making the pockets that G showed us how to make. Where have I put the other ones? There they are. Let's show you these. Okay, so we've gone from the pockets, how G showed us to make them, which how she intended the kit to be done. Um, so just the standard pocket, just glue it together, cut the cards and pop the cards inside. And then I use the embellishment on the front. Okay, so we've got the simple pocket. Then we've got my simple but not so simple <laughs> um it is simple but i don't think i explained it simply enough i've got my little extendable expandable accordion style pocket um there and then we've got the little journal again using the little inside cards as little tabs because quite often in journals I'm going to take them off because they're annoying me but we will put something around that at some point um yeah so quite often when you do well when I do journals anyway um I will put laces on them that hang out or I will put tabs on them that hang out so didn't need to do that they've got you know we just use the journal the little journaling cards as the tabs which is cool okay so yeah i've really really enjoyed doing this guys what i should have done actually really was mirrored that on the other side so that them three tabs there we did have here on the back as well um it should have mirrored it but i didn't think of doing that um that would make it look better though but yeah but i really enjoyed making that um i know the video has been very long-winded and a bit troublesome at times but yes, like I said, again, I've really enjoyed making it. So there we go. I love this cording and I really want it to work. So let's have a look if we can do it this way. So let's tie it there and then just wrap it round and just tuck it under like that. That's better. There we go. Yeah, that makes me happy. Ish. all right guys so there we are i've loved it i love doing this little journal it's so cute i love doing mini journals um yeah so three different ways with the same kit and plenty left over um again like i said that's just got one in it at the moment but then you'd oh, then you would not stick that together then you'd just make some more of them hinges and you'd just keep going until you get more um <clears throat> like that and then little notebooks or whatever you want to put in like so using the tab bits as the extensions like this like so this is just a paper one so it's a bit flimsy but there you go you get what i mean all right guys so yes like i said three pockets with the same kit uh, well not pockets them um, two pockets and a journal with the same kit so yeah love it i've had so much fun anyway i will sort this video i will edit bits and yeah we'll sort it i'll make it shorter okay sorry it went off again i don't know what's happening with this phone today anyway guys yeah so um i can't even remember where i were at now right so yeah i've had a blast doing this um i'm sorry it took a bit longer than i than i wanted it to as i was saying um or i think i said before it went off my printer had an all-time hissy fit for about four weeks um it seems to be okay now touch wood but knowing me i'll jinx it um yeah so i shall be back soon with more projects and things uh, my own projects as well as design team projects and yes so stay tuned guys because you know upcoming videos i should maybe hopefully be making some interesting things and new things um things i've not done before because i have a craft fair that i'm going to be vending at in december so i need to come up with new things to make for that so yay exciting times ahead um oh god 
the cat just scared me to death um okay guys i'm gonna love you and leave you so take care stay safe thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you all again very soon bye